Blood pressure assessment. Equipment needed for the assessment will be a blood pressure cuff, a hand bulb with the dial turned all the way to the right, a sphygmal manometer, and a stethoscope. Make sure the earbuds of the stethoscope are pointing forward to ensure quality sound from the brachial artery. Lightly tap on the diaphragm to test for clear noise. The subject should have been sitting still for at least 5 minutes and refrain from smoking cigarettes or drinking caffeine at least 30 minutes before assessment. It is important to have your subject sit in a proper position to ensure accurate readings. Proper position should involve sitting straight against a backrest, palms facing up, and feet flat on the floor. To begin, identify the artery mark on the cuff. Align the artery mark with the brachial artery on the subject. The bladder of the cuff should cover at least 80% of the subject's upper arm. Make sure the cuff is wrapped firmly around the arm of the subject, but do not cover the brachial artery. Double check that the dial of the hand bulb is turned all the way to the right so that no air can be released from the bladder of the cuff. Next, palpate the medial side of the upper arm to locate the brachial artery and place the diaphragm of the stethoscope directly on top of it. Using the hand bulb, inflate the blood pressure cuff to 200 millimeters of mercury. Turn the dial slowly to the left just enough to release pressure at a rate of 2 to 5 millimeters of mercury per second. Listen closely for carotid cuff sounds. At the onset of sound, take note of the pressure. This will be the systolic blood pressure. The disappearance of sound will represent the diastolic blood pressure. If blood pressure needs to be retaken, wait 5 minutes before doing so. The blood pressure for this subject was 112 over 78 millimeters of mercury, which is considered normal on this ACSM classification and management of blood pressure chart. The table shows the blood pressure classifications that range from normal to hypertensive stage 2 for adults 18 and older.